triple or lose situation and stars brings 15 witches oh i love you dude he's bringing us a thumbnail today welcome back ladies and gentlefish to the next matchup today we got navi versus Vatang. this is day two of the world championship golden ticket event here and we got spray on and kazuma on screen here you see boom we're getting started oof looks like the cameraman missed the first 10 seconds who cares the stats are also i think that's from the last match that happened that's not even this match because this is the first attack right now here we go we are in the upper bracket finals navi versus Vatang. whoever wins this is going to the grand finals whoever loses this is going to get knocked down into the lower bracket and has to face off against synchronic so let's see, one of these teams will have a very good chance of winning the first golden ticket, whoever wins this match right here. We got Spray, aka Dreamwalker, going in first with his, uh, not his normal thing, he's using normal dragons this time. Okay, cool. This is still going pretty fast though. As usual these days with the first attack, by the time I can make an intro for the video, the first attack's already over, lol. Uh, he used a whole lot of dragons. That's about all you need to know. And look at the time on the clock. I think it was about a 70 second attack. Was it 70 or was it 69? Let's see. As they pop up the uh, post attack stats here in a second. 69 seconds. <laughs> That's how you start a match. He Castro with the first attack for Navi. And he's got to go for speed as well. Vatang started with 69 second attack. So P Castro trying to see if he can match that. He's got the Root Riders here today. Queen on the bottom side of the base, Siege Barracks on the left, King with a wall breaker, Headhunter to help fight the enemy King, and here we go with the Root Rider spam from the left side, let's do it, let's do it, King pops out of building, we got a poison spell, get through those ice golems, okay, 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 Root Riders on the left, Skeleton spell, another one in there to help out, a lot of Valkyries out of the Siege Barracks, sure, 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 more skeleton spells to help the champion on the top side. She still gets locked onto by the single target Inferno right away. But luckily that Spirit Fox able to go invisible. Thank goodness gracious. Freeze and rage through the town hall section. Delayed Horn ability. Was able to hold it all the way to get to the core of the base. That's nice. Rage spell for the world champion as well. Queen still has ability. Not sure what equipment she has over there on the bottom right side of the base. We pop it. Looks like just the invis vial and the frozen arrow i think so some more super barbs along the right side of the base and it looks like it's gonna be slower than spray's attack but still pretty quick as we get through the last couple of buildings here we're gonna have to go back around for the clan castle looks like 80 82 82 seconds right there nicely done dp second attack for Vatang. more root riders frozen arrow healing tome Hog Rider Puppet with the Haste File. Golem with the King and the Queen on the upper side of the base. Okay. Root Riders from the left. Here we go. Let's do it. Skeleton Spell is in. We do have one Overgrowth on this one. One Jump Spell as well. Siege Barracks being deployed kind of late from the bottom side of the base. There's the Jump Spell. There's the Overgrowth in the core. Valkyrie's going to wake up the Town Hall. No, but the queen will. All right, that was interesting. Where's the world champion? She's in there on the lower left side of the base as well with the spirit fox, working to get through that scatter shot. Coolio, coolio. Skeleton spell on the bottom side distracts the single target in front of the tower. We're gonna go ahead and rage up this one root rider and the royal champion. Although he might have dropped a little bit too far ahead as the RC gets stuck on the rocket balloons for several, several seconds. Overgrowth expires. We need somebody to go clear the cores. Looking a little sketchy all of a sudden. Lost almost all the Root Riders. There's another Skeleton Spell to distract the Monolith. He brought a lot of Skeleton... Skeleton... Skelly Spells. Yeah, English is hard. RC gets to that bottom Inferno. Pop the RC ability. Sure, sure, sure. This is not looking great for DP. Ugh. RC moves through to the right. Haste File. Is it going to come in clutch though? Hogs from the Hog Puppet. Hold on. Hold on! They take out the monolith. Queen on 1 HP. RC on 1 HP. One wizard tower left. The frozen arrow slows it down. We got it. We got it. Whew. I thought he might have a fail there for a second. It scared me. It's still going to be a triple, but it is kind of a slow triple, which is not good news either. But at least it's a three star. Kazuma. Saw a haste file hog puppet on the champion. 
No idea what else the other heroes have. Queen on the left, looks like she's got a frozen arrow. King on the bottom side, got the Phoenix. Siege Barracks on the left, Root Riders down the middle, let's do it. Let's do it. Pop that King ability early, I don't know if I like that. Root Riders, Valkyrie should make their way to the core though. Cool, cool, cool. Pop that Warren ability, got a Healing Tome, got a Rage Spell to make our way in. Poison Towers are going to slow us down a little bit. We do have the Overgrowth. Where is he going to drop that? We're going to champion in on the right side behind the King. Overgrowth, the Town Hall, and all the defenses behind it. Got to deal with these Ice Golems. Got to deal with that Tornado Trap spinning us in circles. Another Wall Breaker on the left side allows the Queen and the Army of Wizards and Valkyries to move through the left side of the base. Cool. Royal Champion pops her ability. Hog Rider Puppet helping her out quite a bit here. Root Riders finally able to get unfrozen from all those ice golems on the defensive clan castle overgrowth's probably gonna expire any second now we rage our way through the back into the base still got two more rages and three freezes wow that's a lot of spells there's the rage there's a freeze there's another freeze just drop everything bro you're going for speed come on come on drop everything second rage second freeze third freeze let's go let's go let's go 73 73 second attack for kazuba and i think that might just give navi the lead on time. Vatang, I saw a frozen arrow. Not sure what else we got to work with, but more root riders. At this point, this is just clash of speed. Do you think anybody's gonna fail in this match? I don't know, maybe. I probably just jinxed. I probably just jinxed them. But let's do it. Funneling on the right, queen on the bottom side, all the root riders spammed in from the left with the siege barracks way over at nine o'clock. We get through the monolith, we rage our way through, we need a Valkyrie or the quake spell. To wake up the town hall. Cool. There is the Invis Tower there. King deployed late from the right side of the base. Sure. Invis Tower goes burr. Overgrowth deployed now. Root Riders just walk straight through the walls to the Eagle Artillery. Coolio. King with some funneling. Gonna walk inside for the Inferno Tower. We got the Royal Champion working on the upper side of the base. Okay. Poison Spell helps us get through everything. Queen walking in behind the Root Riders right now. That's good news test the farm of the back end but we got some super bops we got a baby dragon we got the king ability with a free spell to help him get through the inferno tower but there is a tornado trap there spinning him in circles finally the overgrowth expires we can get through everything here in the middle section go 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 come on the tank speed is the name of the game right now a couple of rage spells to help us blast through all these inferno towers get through the test farms on the back end with the royal champ ability it's going faster than i can even talk can't even see what all the different heroes are doing at the same time. Get the last two gold storages, and it is a clan. Clash. Triple. 90 seconds. 91. 92. Still a little slow. GG. Gaku is in with the third attack for Navi. We got the jump spell. We got the golem. The king. The queen. Queen with the unicorn way over on the right side of the base. All right, all right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. Root Riders on the left, Super Barbarians over there, Baby Dragon doing some funneling as well. Cool. King popping ability, no big deal. Royal Champion going invisible, Skeleton Spells all over to distract. He's like hitting the base from every single angle. Very interesting here. Very interesting indeed. Got the freeze on the Town Hall, Root Riders smashing their way through. All right, all right, all right. Queen doing queen things. Royal Champion already popping ability. Another freeze in the middle section. We still got another rage, another freeze, another skeleton spell, another eight super barbarians he could deploy. There's a wall break on the upper junction so we can spam a bunch of super barbs up there. Super minions out of the siege barracks that I think was on the top side of the base. Cameraman not really showing us that though. A couple headhunters skeleton spell inside the rage. Those headhunters demolish the enemy queen. Jeez, or champion, whoever that was. This base is deleted relatively quickly for Gaku as well. Still faster than most of the tank's attacks. Look at that. 74 seconds, I think. GG, Mr. Gaku. LG with a giant gauntlet, a healer puppet, a healing tome. And I guess we don't get to see the champions. <laughs> this cameraman's a little inconsistent. King on the right side of the base. More root rider spam, though, of course. What else would you expect? I'm trying to move my camera a little bit here. Uh, too much. That'll work. So what do we got? What do we got? Overgrowth of the core. Jump spell on the right for the king, but he's also gonna fight the CC troops. Root riders are in from the bottom. Siege barracks on the top. Queen on the bottom left. Sure, sure, sure. 
King popping ability. We did pop that ward ability. Got another rage spell moving through. Queen still going left with the giant royal champion way over at 9 o'clock with the skeleton spell in to help distract the single. Distract the expo. Distract the archer queen and even the ricochet cannon. We're freezing the town hall with the scatter shot. King taking the jump spell. He's got that OP astronaut skin making his way through trying to get some damage done here. Distracting the monolith. A lot of super barbs working on the upper side of the base. What was in his siege barracks? Uh, looks like super minions coming out from the top side of the base. Cameraman always fails to see it somehow. We got the town hall. Queen getting trash buildings, RC popping ability. We already used all the spells with the rage spell, the last one being deployed right there to get us through the middle section. It's going to be another triple, but the Tang proven to have uh, some slow attacks here. I think with the exception of like their first attack, everything's been like more than 90 seconds. And Navi, I think everything's been less than 90 seconds. So this is a triple pressure on Navi to also triple. But Navi have the speed advantage. The man, the myth, the legend himself, our homie Klaus no is in. And he's got Root Rider spam. Let's do it. With an overgrowth and a jump spell as well. King Queen on the left side. Siege Barracks way over on the right side. Skeleton spell to distract and Root Rider spam city. Let's do it. Let's do it. Coming in from the upper side of the base. Nice headhunter to help the RC fight the enemy queen. All right, all right, all right. Apprentice Warden behind the Grand Warden. Respawn on the left and the jump spell to help the Barbarian King get in there. Queen's actually going to dip out to the left and stay on the outside of the base. Poison spell to help deal with CC troops. Rage towers on both sides of the town hall, but we're going to go ahead and overgrow a lot of defenses here. All right. All right, all right. Tornado trap spinning in circles. Lots of super barbs on the bottom right side of the base. Queen still wrapped around the left. She's healthy. We're skipping most of the stuff in the core. We're trying to get past it all now. We have some root riders to open the walls for the king of the Valks on the left. No, maybe that's okay. They'll just sit there and wait for the overgrowth to expire as we get through the rest of the buildings before the overgrowth even expires. <laughs> Very nice. There we go. Town hall, ready to rock and roll. We got the rage spell. We got the RC ability. We got the queen ability. Just pop it all. Down goes the town hall and down goes the entire base in 72 seconds. This guy is fast. Lanzlotta is in with the final attack for the tank. What does he got? He's got Root Riders. He's got an Overgrowth spell. He's got two Skeleton spells. Let's do it. King on the upper side of the base. Siege Burks on the right. Queen on the top left. Pop her ability early for that healer puppet. The pressure is on the tank right now. Because even though we're tied on stars, 12 to 12, 80% to 80%, I know the tank are down on time. I can't actually see the stats because I'm not in the clan. We're just watching the live feed here. But you just, you could feel it by watching the attacks. Fatang have had the slower attacks by quite a bit. I wouldn't be surprised if they're down by like an entire minute almost in total. Lots of Root Riders smashing through the middle section of the base. What's in the Siege Barracks? Super Hollow Root Riders. We did use the overgrowth of the Monolith and all the defenses to the left of the Monolith. Cool, cool, cool. Skeleton Spell dropped down to try and distract the Monolith. But the overgrowth still is not expired. Queen had a wall break to go in for the Inferno Tower on the left side of the base, but she still dipped out. Stayed on the outside of the base. It's a little awkward. We're going to go ahead and rage up some Root Riders through the bottom section here. King did pull that last Poison Tower in the middle of the base. Root Riders on the outside. World Champion is still alive with the Spirit Fox going invisible. It's looking great as a triple. But again, it's not very fast. Another attack for Vatang that's going to be a more than 90 seconds more than 90 seconds and i think every single attack from navi all four of them have been under 90 seconds so the tank are probably just crossing their fingers and hoping for a defense on the last attack here that might be their only chance stars with a rage gym a haste file a hog rider puppet and this homie brings 15 witches <laughs> this is triple or lose for stars for navi triple or lose situation and stars brings 15 witches oh i love you dude he's bringing us a thumbnail today zap quake in the middle section of the base log launcher witch spam early warden ability let's go king inside with the witches okay 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 witches on the top witches on the left he's already deployed them all he had six root riders and 15 witches what a combo what a combo that log launcher takes out the last inferno tower in the middle section of the base there's really nothing 
Well, the CC troops could drag, drag some of our units into the middle section. We got the poison spell for the last two archers. Everything else is already dead. Royal Champion deployed on the left side with a couple of witches. The main group of witches stays on the upper side, though, with the Barbarian King and the Grand Warden. Queen's actually going to dip out to the left. Look at this. We got one E Titan and Yeti from the Log Launcher going to go to the Town Hall. And even though we're not going to give them any spells, we don't expect them to take the Town Hall. They pulled the Tornado Trap and they pulled the Poison Towers. That's a huge bonus. Huge bonus right there. So the rest of our units moving around the outside of the base don't have to worry about it. This is either a one star or a three star for the win. King already used his giant gauntlet. Warden's still alive, shooting defenses. Road Champion already popped her ability. She actually might die. Hold on. Don't tell me this ends up getting really slow, even if it does triple. Uh, Queen's beating on a wall. This Royal Champion's gonna go down. King. Uh, we got some goblins. King goes down. Queen's beating on a wall. Then she's gonna have to beat on another wall. This is gonna be a really slow, even if it does triple. I don't know about this, guys. We're actually gonna have to take a look at the average attack duration. Unless it truly didn't matter what his time was to triple. I have no idea. Queen pops ability. 97%. Come on. Come on. Poison Tower recharging. Use the free spell, my guy, before the Poison Tower recharges. Thank you. Down goes the Town Hall. Down goes the Poison Tower. Down goes the monolith. I think it's fast enough for Navi to win. He's smiling. Oh, can we get an official statement here from the team, though? Let's see if it's going to tell us who's the winner. And here are the match results. I'll turn off my camera so you can see it all. Boom. Navi is the winner indeed. You can see every single attack's speed. And you can take the average yourself if you want to. But much faster from Navi. GG's. They're going to the grand finals.